All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about a potential asteroid impact in the next couple years here on Earth. Now usually I don't cover this kind of stuff because nine times out of ten it's just like a completely ridiculous fear mongering just complete stupid story where you'll have somebody like asteroid impact in 2029 question mark and then you go and you look and it's like there is a 0.0000000 0.4% chance of an asteroid hitting the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The asteroid is the size of a four-story building, right? But this one is actually a little bit different, which is what's kind of crazy. Not only is the asteroid much larger than these usual, like, stupid one-off stories you hear about, but there is a legitimate percentage chance that it will hit Earth in the next couple of years. And also, it is going to be leaving view from Earth within a couple of years through its orbit, meaning that we have a pretty limited window of time where we can actually use to gather information about it and figure out more about it. But on top of all this, the odds of the asteroid actually impacting Earth have been climbing in the last few weeks. So before we get into the video, I do want to say if you're brand new around here on the channel, make sure you hit like down below and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads here on the channel. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the chances of an asteroid striking Earth within the next decade has doubled in a matter of weeks, according to NASA astronomers. The asteroid discovered just after Christmas and named 2024 YR4 could strike the planet in December 2032 as it approaches during another journey around its orbit, according to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. When the detection of the asteroid was announced last month, NASA predicted just a 1.3% probability of it hitting Earth. The likelihood has now increased to 2.1%. The overall probability may be low, but a 2% chance of an asteroid strike is quote uncommon, Davide Farnaccia, a navigation engineer with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, told ABC News, quote, getting something with a probability this high, like 2%, which is high for us. Now, I do want to go ahead and add that NASA's Asteroid Watch and NASA themselves have said that the actual chance is 2.3%, which is a tad bit higher than what ABC News is reporting in this article. Now, obviously, it's mostly inconsequential at the end of the day, but it is a difference nonetheless. So obviously uh, this has been pretty big news. It's been kind of hitting the airwaves recently. Like I said, most of the time when you hear something about this, it's like an obscure one-off asteroid that doesn't really matter. You know, if it like hit the earth, the likely outcome would be that it just breaks up in earth's orbit in like a big fireball as it comes in through the atmosphere. But this one is a little bit different, not only just because the odds of it hitting are actually many magnitudes larger than a lot of these other like hyped up stories, but this isn't a particularly tiny asteroid either. So this asteroid is actually in size right now comparable to an asteroid that struck the Earth in 1908. Now you may have heard about this asteroid impact. It is the largest impact recorded in human history in the entire planet and it's more commonly known as the Tunguska event. Now, all the way back in 1908, an asteroid landed in Earth on like a, it's like a remote forest basically, out in the middle of nowhere in Siberia in Russia. So it didn't hit like a populated area or anything, but being the size of the asteroid we're talking about possibly hitting in 2032, it managed to kill a handful of people, it flattened a, an estimated 80 million trees, and it was able to like knock the windows out of buildings hundreds of miles away from where the asteroid actually landed. And keep in mind, that is like the biggest impact we've ever recorded during human history. Now, of course, when you look back millions and billions of years, there have been much more significant, important asteroid impacts and stuff on Earth. But in the short amount of like time that we've been able to record these kinds of things, there's only been one asteroid even comparable to this one that might be coming in 2032. So on the Torino scale, the method for categorizing the impact hazard associated with near-Earth objects, 2024 YR4 is ranking at 3 out of 10, Farnaccia said, adding that most space objects rank at a zero. The object was discovered in late December as it made a close approach towards Earth, but it's now moving away, Farnaccia said. The elongated shape of the orbit takes the asteroid around the sun, 
and into the Earth's vicinity before it ventures far between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Because of the unusual orbit, the asteroid will disappear starting in April until 2028, according to NASA. So there's only about two more months that we can actually like observe this asteroid and like, you know, learn as much as we can really about it before it basically disappears for the next three years. Obviously, if there is going to be like a collision with this asteroid, they're projecting December 2032. So if it does, you know, disappear until 2038, we would only have a window of about, you know, three to four years really when it comes back to actually observe it and try to do something about it. So right now they believe that the asteroid is anywhere between about 130 feet and 350 feet in diameter. So like as long as it is or whatever, obviously the larger an asteroid is, the more damage it could potentially cause. Now, thankfully, if this asteroid were to strike earth, okay, uh, it is not like an asteroid big enough to end all life on the planet, at least as like uh, we understand it right now. If it were possibly like to hit anywhere on Earth that was like populated, let's say like a metropolitan area or something, it is large enough that the damage could probably level a pretty good size metropolis. I did see a projected path on like where it would impact along the Earth. It's almost all like basically from the eastern edge of South America all the way across the Atlantic, across Africa and out just past it so like here in the united states for instance where most of us are watching we are not currently in the projected path if this asteroid were to hit it is farther south and to the east of us but like i said you know if it were to hit a populated area which it very could it very well could do it would be enough to kill probably thousands if not tens of thousands of people on a direct hit now like i said the the path is pretty favorable compared to what it could be it's not like it's striking all the way across like europe into asia or something it's a lot of it is covered by the ocean so it would just fall off into the water hopefully but even then this is still something that we as a planet have to worry about because if there's anything that's going to like really destroy the world or like cause an apocalypse or something, asteroids are probably like the number one or two threat. It's like nuclear weapons and fallout to asteroids, basically. That's like the only two things I can really see just demolishing everything. So as of right now, I guess the plan is the astronomers and whatnot are going to continue to try and learn what they can. NASA has announced that they will be using the Webb Space Telescope, which is, by the way, the largest and most powerful telescope ever created and put out in space. They're going to use the Webb Space Telescope to like measure the asteroid and the window that they have to like be able to monitor it. They're going to try and learn what they can about it. They're going to try and learn more about the orbit of the entire thing. And they're basically going to try and just scrape together what they can. So if you're one of the people like me, you're probably wondering like, well, what exactly are we going to do about it? Because it is a threat. It's something that's there. A 2.3% chance. It's not like end of the world inbound, like holy shit, everyone freak the fuck out levels of chance that it'll hit. But at the same time, it's a big enough chance that we should at least pay attention because a 3% chance even, which is a little bit larger than what it is right now. I mean, it's not completely microscopic, impossible levels of unlikely, but at the same time, there is a mostly good chance that we will either not be hit by the asteroid or even if it does hit hopefully it'll land in a place where it doesn't kill a whole bunch of people or do a whole bunch of fucking damage right so there is some silver lining to this as of right now so basically the pros and the cons the pros there's a pretty good chance this won't hit. Even if it does, we do have at least an idea of what we may be able to do. Now, right now, the best strategy, I guess, the best plan of defense that humanity has against a potential asteroid impact is if they can find it in time and they can learn what they can about it, it is possible for us to launch a spacecraft directly at a trajectory that would hit the asteroid at a point where it would divert its course or break it up enough that maybe it wouldn't cause any damage. Maybe the pieces would would break up in the atmosphere depending on the size so there is a chance that if we do learn enough about it maybe we can throw one of these spacecraft at it or something see if we can knock it off course but that's pretty much like our best line of defense right now and even then the like very limited testing and knowledge that we have about that concept it's been done basically not in this scenario so even if they were to try this it would be a pretty new endeavor i guess for humanity to try to protect itself in this kind of manner right but either way it's 
it's either we have to do something about it or we don't do anything about it and then it might hit right so the scariest part is obviously the fact that the odds keep going up like the longer that it's gone on they just found this thing two months ago they were like nah you know one one and a half percent chance then a couple months later they're like okay well 2.3 so as they keep like watching it and trying to learn more about it we're gonna either see hopefully that number will come down in terms of likelihood but it is possible that maybe it even goes up so at least the good news about this whole thing is the space agencies are aware of what's going on right because it's a lot scarier when you know like something's going on like oh shit there might be an asteroid impact that's scary but it's a whole lot scarier when you have no fucking clue what's going on and there's just this big like like life-threatening threat basically out in space that's lurking at any time so the good news is is at least we know about it hopefully we can do something about it hopefully it's not even actually going to hit or impact earth at all regardless but like the article says the window to study this thing is closing for a little while so we need to be on top of our game as a species here just kind of figuring out what's going on and seeing if this is something more to worry about so anyway with that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about the possible 2032 asteroid impact and signing out.